full of red and blood. Last episode, we continued doing some things around Paititi. And started to that. continue the main story. Right here, we are really, we are continuing the main story here as well. That barrier's down. We'll Need to keep moving. Let's do it. Now this is... Well, we just finished a puzzle. It was a very easy puzzle. The oil comes down. You bring the oil down and ride on the Here... Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? Well, it's a all barrier. New. It's all new to me. <sighs> Must be a way to turn the second wheel. Flowing to the wrong place. Patterns have to line up. They have to. Let's try this. It's all about lining up those patterns. That's what it's all about. See, it goes down, it winds around. It's like follow the maze. I'm just attempting. What happens if you do this? This is a little bit complicated, but experiment enough, and you will get it. Now, there's different levels of puzzles, di puzzle difficulty. Um, I'm doing... I'm not doing easy puzzle difficulty. Um, honestly, I can do... Yeah. I'm not doing it easy. Uh, I figure, I like to figure out the puzzles myself, no matter how long it takes. And if it takes forever and ever, I'll still f I'll still figure it out. But I tend to figure it out pretty easy most of the time. Oh boy! Uh, this seems to work okay. This is tricky. This is really tricky. What if I move this? Can I move that one individually? I don't know. Can I move this one by it? I can move this one by itself. Let's see where it goes. Go to where it needs to. Have right. to burn that barrier. Yeah, I know. I know. I have to break the barrier. I know. I know. I didn't know that before. I don't know. I could do with a very d with no hints in, in the puzzle. I don't know why I leave it on like normal for the puzzles because I figure it out. I 
I sometimes don't even pay attention to the hints, the hints that are given to me. I don't even pay attention to them sometimes, and like, they're totally right, but like, I don't pay attention to them. I'm just so focused on the puzzle that I don't pay attention to the hints for the puzzle. Damaging. Now, to find the silver box. I got it. So you move one wheel. You move both wheels to the right position. And then you move the... Then you can move one wheel individually, and it's perfect. There's the little rebel prince. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. Favor? Cool. Probably a mission, which I'm all for. After all, I am going for 100% in this game. So I'm all for this stuff. Let me switch to the garb. Boy, let me talk to some people on the way. Seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. Ooh. New things I gotta check out? I'm happy to do it. Yay! All right, let's see what has to be said. Unaratu, Hetsley's been captured. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him, I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? This is a key. It looks 
like it looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. It's the box of each shell connected to the barracks. Is that why the cult occupied the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be subtle, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. Well, better keep. Well, better come out alive yourself. Wow. Um. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned for her. I am a bit concerned for her. You know, aren't you guys? Aren't you guys concerned for Unaratu? Uchu and I were talking, and well. Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. So, this guy likes to blow a what horn that isn't here? his. Interesting I this to guy. Now he... been captured. A yeah, he's a warrior. I know. I still hate this. I hope he's okay. Hey, anything new? Uh, I need to check out. Yes, there is. 29th of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep, for the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. True Elos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. Um... Where is the artifact? Tell me. Let me know. Whisper that in my ear. We could uh, keep it from the cult, right? Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's. The king's horn. They call to the future. <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Pwali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Better get them herbs.
trying to find the... Is that it? Is that her? Is that you? Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Uh, we have another thing to do. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Okay, it's up here. I need... A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Retrieve the king's horn. Hello there. The Ishiki. Wonderful. More attention we don't need. What do you want? I'm trying to help Kuali. The thief. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death for stealing. Seems harsh for petty theft. You can judge when he steals from you, outsider. Well, thank you for the information. Whatever. Aren't you a friendly person? The friendliest friendly person I've ever seen. Yay! Very friendly person. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki. From the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me. I'm Yami. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial life to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Okay, what do I... Uh, can I... I can climb up? Maybe I can climb up there. Yeah, I can. Alright. I got your knife. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean... Is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs, then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties, too! Run, run! Is this timed? Um... I hope it's not timed. Somehow, where's the cell? Where's the cell? In here? He's not in here. Seriously, am I a little blind? I can't see it. I can't find him. Your oh, brother told me of your troubles. There he is. Who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. The guard's not back yet? Good. That's good. Oh, okay. Let's do... I thought I told you to go. 
Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Shiki. Gabi, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Well, I got him the medicine, and I got the horn. Good trade, I... Alright, guys, I got it! Here's the king's horn! Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The king's horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quenchy that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenchy perfectly. I never should have sent Quenchy to that damn place. Mm. What place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenty. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail. It'll lead you to it. You could jump off cliff. Well, what are the best cliffs to jump off? And where are the best bridges to jump off? The best high-rise buildings to jump off? You know, all that good stuff. The best roofs to jump off. It's what people, it's what people do, right? It's, it's, it's how to have fun. Any time of the year. Cool. Yeah. No, 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 no. Why? I know how to do this stuff. Come on. I know what I'm doing here. I'll take that. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got to complete a challenge for that. That's great. I don't... There's the entrance. I don't know how doing all... Collecting all this stuff and doing the side... And side missions would be, like, annoying to someone. I love it. I love every minute of it myself. During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. But yeah, I... I love grinding in games. Like, grinding is my favorite thing to do in games, and... It's like, when I have to... Do the main missions, I'm s I feel sort of like, uh Now, I do a lot more grinding than you think, but it... You don't see it necessarily. You don't see the grinding. Because I don't... You know, I cut those- I cut the grinding out when I edit. So whenever I do doing grinding, don't worry, it's not- You're not gonna see it in these final videos. No worries about that. But you do see the results of the grinding. You do see that, for sure. Okay. 
Good job! Yay, great jump! I'm proud of myself. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, cult control. The threat of the disease held at bay. We soon learned that Lopez had come and gone. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We'd be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact, or well, this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. We would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. That sounds like a surefire plan. Be friend. You know, don't be the enemy, be the friend. So, they had, they did have a good approach. You gotta give them that. You gotta give them that. Smart. They were smart. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. This must be Manco leading the priestess's ancestors out of Cusco. Well, I'm in the right place. I got the right landmark, so I'm in the right place, clearly. Breakable wall. I know a breakable wall when I see one. Something's wrong. Where does this go? This where I need to go. No one's been through here in centuries. Ah, I'm this good. has to be the right place. Can I cut that one? I'd have to jump it. <clears throat> this one. Okay, jump. Got it. I've learned by now what you cut and what you jump over. This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kugul Khan to keep the Pytitians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection. What did they plan to do with it? Like, sell it on eBay or something? I don't know. I don't know what they plan to do with it. Like, I don't know. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not allow such a sacrilege to happen to Manco. Don't blame them. Don't blame them. It would be, uh... <laughs> The cult are. Does this go anywhere? No. The cult are the bad guys. They're really, really bad. And everyone knows it. Everyone knows a bad guy when they see one. Well, unless you are a part of the. One of the bad guys, but. Then again, what is good and what is bad? What is the difference between good and evil? These questions and more will be answered in Philosophy 101. Whatever. <laughs> this is this is This is Shadow the Tomb Raider, not philosophy class. <laughs> Anything special here? I'm always looking around. Headset error. Come on. I'm not using a headset like that. I'm using a mic, not a headset. Headset disconnected. I didn't have a... I'm not using that kind of microphone. Oh, jeez, I hate it when that happens. It thinks like I'm using it. It thinks I'm, I'm using stuff that I'm not using. And I don't know what causes that. I have no clue.
Banco's resting place. This looks suspicious. Oh, easy enough. Just cross the bridge when you... But I'll cross the bridge when I come to it. I knew it. And I'm dead. Banco's resting place. This looks suspicious. Let's do this better now. Alright. Supposed to fall? But I'm falling supposed to fall into the water. It's never gonna be that easy. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna be that easy. There's a uh, I can get some gold to sell. I love selling gold. I love selling gold. You can't use it for anything. You don't use it for crafting. Anything like that. You just use it for selling. But gold and jade, it's good stuff, and you're gonna need it. If you wanna get if you wanna get the if you wanna buy things. Alright, what do I do? I can ooh. So far so good. The goal is to get to the top. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan. That away. That away. What happened? Shit. No. Oh, hell. Okay. Good. Where's the way out? Gotta swim to find the way out. Oh, I'm glad I have breath control. I have a lot of breath control. I'm glad I do. Just going for the average leisurely swim. And, um. This shows a weird burial dolls, pottery, pool. and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place, the order turned it into a crypt. Ready for more swimming? I know it's gonna go on. It's all gonna go swimmingly. Get. Ah, oh, yeah. If, imagine if that closed completely, I'd be like, Fudge! Hot fudge! I know what I'm doing, I'm a family. I keep it PG in this channel. This lever should raise the water level. But you know, I'm, you know what hot fudge is. It's what you put over ice cream. The order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones. They sacrifice themselves to protect this place. Simple enough. There you go. Read, you know, do some reading. Get some reading in, I think. Okay. I'm gonna get some. No. Okay, that's just something you pulled it. I thought it was a mural at first. It's not. It's just a thing you pull. Am I out? Yay! Come on. Get some water. Don't drown, Lara. If, like, in the perks, when you do the breath control thing, seriously, you'll 
thank yourself for the breath control. There are two breath control skill things you can get. And you're gonna need both. One, I think I did the first one. Is it the second? I don't know. I haven't kept track. First one you get with points. You get with skill points. Is that the second? That's a good question. I don't know. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Pick up some of this stuff. Pull up. Can't carry any more. There's light coming through this wall. Just want to make sure there's players. a way out. Don't worry, Manko. I I will do the appointment on time. Just looking if what else there is. Now, to get this back to Uchu. Save your amulet. Pure silver. From what I understand, Manko was a simple farmer. This must have been made posthumously as an offering to honor him. Yeah. Make. I got the second item you wanted. Are you happy? Are you happy? I got it for you. Ah, Laura. Quincy returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quenty made it back. <sighs> but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? What? Laura, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's bow, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there. We'll be there. How is everything? How may I help you? Well, I got a bunch of things to sell, that's for sure. Yeah. Jade first. I'll sell the jade. I get 6,000 whatever I the money is both. called. Very good. Right. I came across this across this before, I think. I didn't know how to get it. Can I check inside again? No. Same dead end. Let me Oh, maybe I could jump this way. <laughs> Challenge complete! Yay! Figure it out. Woo! I don't... I don't know. I don't mind exploring. I don't mind going throughout the village. I've been throughout this village a billion times. I don't mind it. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. I think I know the gold, what the golden birds are. I feel like this is gonna be... This... So the birds are perched. We're talking about perched. Where would a bird be perched? I can go there, though. What can I do there? <laughs> Ooh, can I get on there? Can I jump? Yes! Oh my god, this is... Not a challenge solution, but I'll take it. Maya and Inca stood shoulder to shoulder against their brothers on one side. 
those who wished to retreat and start fresh, and those who wished to expand and conquer neighboring territories. I'm always starting fresh, but I also want to conquer. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. That's a good question. Are you into, like, changing things up all the time for yourself? Or do you want to conquer more? For me, like, it depends on the mood. Depends on what I'm, fe what I'm feeling. It's never very consistent. Ill-suited to the local land, the Maya's agriculture techniques of slash and burn soon led to a food shortage. At the risk of starvation, they entered into treaties with local pre-Inca tribes, gaining new technologies and crops. The traders arrived, bringing new goods, and then the farmers, with new crops and techniques. Eventually, as more and more of the outsiders arrived in Paititi, they eventually took administrative control. So... They also said that the, all the crops have to be symmetrical because it has to look good, right? And symmetrical equals look means it's going to look good. Like, think of a symmetrical thing that doesn't look good, right? Symmetrical things look good. That's just a basic thing in life. It really is. From, like, farming to, like, do you want, like, an asymm- like, do you think, like, would you like your, to get a haircut that's completely asymmetrical? Like, long hair on one end and short hair on the other end? No. You're gonna want it symmetrical. <laughs> Story complete. Oh, nice. Back to the problem. Back to this bird thing. I need to find one bird that's perched above. So I assume it's in the higher place. And it's waiting. It dropped something. And it's waiting for me. It better be something valuable and not like bird poop or something better be valuable I'm also outside of the range yeah <laughs> can I go further though I can. This better be special. This should be... Okay, let's see if I could gracefully go down there. Gracefully... Very graceful. Very graceful. <laughs> that was not intended. But I got there. This staff has a jewelry-rigged flintlock mechanism, similar to those from European firearms. The cultist priests must have used this during their ceremonies to all the crowds. Well, I don't know. Whatever entertains. If it entertains, it's good? That's the philosophy in YouTube anyway, you know? I don't know, all this looking is starting to affect me. Petting llamas helps though. This is different.
you like find little niches and little places if you look for it. Have I been here before? Doesn't look like I have. I don't think I Okay. Yeah, I Wow. Look at all the stuff I can get. I'm going to be spending some good time here. What is this place? This figure must be the Nowl, the mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Haititi. Well, Lara, meet this mythological beast is what I'm wondering. Have tea with it. Challenge tomb. Nearby. Maybe, if there's a challenge to him nearby, maybe I should end the episode here and focus on the challenge to him next episode, right? I think I'll do that. I think I'll start the next episode with a challenge to him. What do you guys think about that? Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos, or even hit that bell icon to join the notification squad. I truly appreciate all the support. Bye, guys!